happening today, the FDNY will make history. For the very first time in 157 years, a woman will lead the department. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live in NoHo with details on this historic announcement. Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Charlene. Yeah, historic indeed. Mayor Eric Adams will be here uh, later this morning to officially make that announcement. And the announcement will be happening at um, Engine 33 and Ladder 9, which is actually a historic building because the first ever fire commissioner for FDNY was headquartered right here. Now, Laura Cavanaugh has worked her way up through the department for years. She was appointed as previous commissioner Daniel Nigro, second in command back in 20. 2017, then was named the interim commissioner when he stepped down earlier this year. Now, she's played a role in the department's response during the pandemic, as well as the 2015 Ebola outbreak. And before joining FDNY, she worked at New York City Hall as a special assistant to Mayor de Blasio. She'll now officially be at the helm of an agency with 17,000 employees. The union that represents members of FDNY are showing their support for the appointment, saying, quote, she She's a champion who fought for EMS and will continue fighting for us. And quote, we've supported her from the beginning and we're looking forward to working with her. She has been supportive, caring, and demonstrates strong leadership abilities. Now, definitely historic for FDNY, but she'll also be joining another first, which is the first woman commissioner for uh, NYPD um, who was appointed just last year.